on my take on the swings. We're going to get some coffee. Well, only be a minute. Be at home. We'll wait for her there. The police will be leaving meters there as soon as possible. Don't worry, sweetheart. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. Mrs. Peterson. At last. Where have you been? My daughter's missing. Where are the others? Are they out looking for her? Karen, it's okay. Take a seat. Can you just go through with me what happened in the park today? I don't see how this is going to help. Why aren't you out there looking for her? Karen, it, it's really important that you tell me exactly what happened today. She was just there. And then she wasn't. She was gone in a split second. It's okay, Karen. Why don't Mike and I go make you a nice cup of tea? Then when you're ready, you can go through all the details. Do you think something in particular might have triggered it? I don't know. I suggest we went for a walk, right in the park. She spotted the playground and, you know, I'd, I didn't really think anything of it. They must have been seeing all those children. <laughs> what was I thinking? Mike, you really can't blame yourself for this. No matter what we've said in past sessions, it's not her fault and it's not yours. You both have to come to terms with what's happened. But taking her to a park? Am I stupid? Going somewhere like that so soon after Megan's death? What? What do you mean? I can't take this anymore. She's dead, Karen. <laughs> she is dead. I thought after the funeral you might accept she's gone. Mike. Karen, Mike, I've some long awaited good news for you. Karen, it seems you've responded very well to medication and the counseling sessions. It's much better than we all expected, in fact. I'm so pleased to see how far you both progressed and come to terms with Megan's death. You can start to move on with life. Thank you so much. I'm 
so proud of you. <laughs> the hard bit's done. It's only going to get easier. We will get through this. Yes. We will. <laughs>